And we are back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. And for the third part of the show, we are now going to get into talking about the Bengals and them picking up their first win of the season. Before I get into that, so ESPN's uh, NFL Instagram account posted uh, Devontae Adams. um, And, you know, it has his current cap value for a team if he's acquired today, and it's $13.5 million. Cap value decreases by... Uh, 968k a week trade deadline is november 5th and the current caps they show teams with like the most cap space um and it's the commanders at 27.8 million the cowboys at 24.4 million the jets at 17.8 million and the steelers at 12.6 million so just something to think about um you know if you went to the commanders i mean Wow, that would only elevate that. Like I said, like I said, I mean, any team that gets Devontae Adams makes him better. But you see what the Commanders have been doing these last couple of weeks, putting up a bunch of points, and then you get Devontae Adams. Man, that really, I mean, that would really accelerate the growth of Jane Daniels even more. Because right now he's the front runner for Offensive Rookie of the Year. So, uh, just wanted to bring that to light. But anyways, let's get into the Bengals. So obviously, it's been a rough few weeks for the Bengals to start off the year you know you lose 16 to 10 to the Patriots then you lose a close game to the the Chiefs a game that probably should have won if it wasn't for that pass interference call which again was the right call however you want to look at it it was the right call but and then after that you lose that shootout to the commanders which I didn't really expect at home and the offense didn't even punt there were no well, there were no punts in the game in general. So now you take on the Panthers, who looked a little bit better against the Raiders. Well, not even a little bit. They looked a whole lot better. I mean, you know, compared to how it was with Bryce Young, I mean, Andy Dalton came in and that team looked a lot different. So this was going to be a tough game. But the Bengals were able to get the win. They improved to one and three on the season. We'll kind of go through it. So Panthers got the ball and they were driving. They got all the way down to the Bengals' one-yard line. And the Bengals' defense was able to stuff Chuba Hubbard at the one. And that was big. You know, that, that was a that was a big stop there early on. The Bengals did punt on their first drive. However, Andy Dalton did throw a pick on the Panthers' second drive. And the Bengals, they took advantage of that. And Chase Brown from three yards out scored a touchdown to make it 7-0. However, then the Panthers did respond. 11 plays, 70 yards. And Chuba Hubbard from three yards out scored a touchdown to tie the game. Bengals, they responded on their next drive. They were trading touchdowns at this point. And then third and three from the Bengals, 37. A Burrow connected with Jamar Chase, who broke a couple of tackles and uh, got to, ran down the sideline and scored a touchdown. Had a, you know a couple of blockers there for him, and he was able to score. So Chase, you know, after a quiet first couple of weeks, last two weeks. You know, he's been productive. You know, three touchdowns in the last two weeks. So getting him going is really important. However, the Panthers did respond. They scored a touchdown on their next drive. Andy Dalton connected with Xavier Leggett for an eight-yard touchdown. So that made it 14-14. Then the Bengals, they responded with another touchdown. Uh, There was a 29-yard pass play from Joe Burrow to Andre Yoshivas. Um, And then Burrow connected with Zach Moss for a one-yard touchdown at the Panthers' one on third and goal to make it 21 to 14. So it was 21 to 14 at the half. And then the Panthers, they just took a knee uh, to end the half. And the Bengals opened up the second half with another touchdown drive. Um, Chase Brown from one yard out scored. That made it 28, 14, a couple of punts. Panthers turned it over on downs. It was fourth and three from their own 35 yard line. And they tried to do a fake with Johnny Hecker and that ended up not working out. And the Pan- the Bengals took over a 56-yard field goal by Evan McPherson that made it 31 to 14. Then the Panthers scored a touchdown. Andy Dalton connected with Deontay Johnson for a 21-yard touchdown that made it 31-21. Then Joe Burrow threw a pick. Panthers cashed in, scored a field goal. Eddie Pinheiro from 48 yards out that made it 31-24. A couple of punts. Bengals did make it a two-possession game late. Evan McPherson from 40 uh, 46 yards out. And that's really all she wrote. Uh, Panthers uh, Panthers dropped to one and three. Bengals improved to one and three. 
Joe Burrow, 22 of 31, 232 yards, two touchdowns, one interception. Uh, Bengals ran the ball for 141 yards and two rushing touchdowns. Chase Brown had 80 yards on the ground, and Zach Moss had 51 yards on the ground. Both guys had 15 carries, so it's kind of a split backfield between these, those two guys, and they've done a nice job so far, I will say. Jamar Chase, only three receptions, but made the most of it for 85 yards and a touchdown. T. Higgins targeted 10 times, six receptions for 60 yards. Yoshi Boss had one for 29. Uh, Von Bell had a pick in this game. And the Bengals' defense, no sacks. So that is a concern. You know, they're still not getting pressure. And especially, you would have thought they would at least get to Andy Dalton once because, you know, he's more of the traditional pocket passer. As for the Panthers, speaking of Andy Dalton, he went 25 or 40 for 220 yards, two touchdowns, one interception. Like, or, like I said, was not sacked at all in this game. Uh, the Panthers ran the ball for 155 yards. Chuba Hubbard, 18 carries for 140 yards and a touchdown. Miles Sanders had six for 32. And they're going to be getting Jonathan Brooks back, the rookie running back. So that's only going to improve that running game. Chuba Hubbard has done a nice job these last couple games. Deontay Johnson has looked like a different player since Andy Dalton's taken over. Seven receptions for 83 yards and a touchdown. Xavier Leggett, six receptions for 66 yards and a touchdown. Uh, Xavier Woods had a pick in this game. That was off of... Joe Burrow. But yeah, for the Bengals, that was a huge win. Gets them in the win column, but kind of gets back to, all right, here we go, because they take on the Ravens at home in week five. So that's going to be a tough game for the Panthers. They take on the Bears in Soldier Field. Andy Dalton will be facing off against another one of his former teams. And the Bears got a good defense. So that that, that could be a problem. But this is a very important win for the Bengals. And you know, you just got to continue to ride this momentum into next week. But they're going up against a very good Ravens team. Now, they are at home. But, you know, last year, the Ravens, they swept the season series. And you want to rewrite the wrong there. So, Anthony in the chat says, what happened with the Bengals? They were Super Bowl contenders and a good playoff team the past two seasons. And now they're back to being a top 10 team in the draft. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I think that's a little bit of an overreaction. I mean, yes, it looks like that right now, but you kind of have to – context does matter. I mean, look at the games. It's not, I mean, the first game against the, the Patriots, they could have won that, but that game was ugly. And the Bengals are a team that typically starts off the year slow. And that's kind of what has been the case here. And then week two should have beaten the Chiefs. A couple of plays go differently. They win that. I mean, 38-33 to 33 against the Commanders. I mean, your offense didn't punt. That was on your defense. And then you get the win here. My my concern with the Bengals, I, I, I think, is the defense. You know, that is, that is a problem. I mean, you gave up 24 points to the Panthers. I know with Andy Dalton they've looked better, but, you know, the defense has got to start, start playing better. And, you know, they didn't get to Andy Dalton at all. They didn't sack him once. I mean, they're missing a couple of key guys on the defensive line. So you hope to get those guys back. But, yeah, no, it, it's just the, the Bengals still have some issues. You know, now if you could go and beat Baltimore this upcoming week, you know, that would be a statement win. That would really declare that the Bengals are back. But you go and lose that game and you drop to 1-4, and four, it's going to be tough. But I did bring up last week, you know, the last 0-3 team that made the playoffs was the Houston Texans, which was back in um, back in 2018, 2018, 2019. Um, so you got that. And then also, I mean, look at the Chiefs that one year with Alex Smith. They started off the season 1-5, and and they made it to the divisional round of the playoffs. So it's doable. You know, it's not... It's not, it's not common, but it is doable. And I do believe that the Bengals, they can uh, they can get this thing right. And I still think they can make the playoffs. But, you know, they got a lot of work to do. But this is at least a step in the right direction. You're getting Jamar Chase going. You got T. Higgins back. You know, the running backs that you got coming out of the backfield have done a nice job so far. Got to protect Joe Burrow and play good defense. And Burrow, you know, has been playing better. 
So, um, you know, that's kind of where they're at. I mean, they've lost guys over the years. You know, and it's not the same team that went to the Super Bowl. You know, I mean, you're not always going to, you're not going to be able to keep everybody. And that's kind of what's happened here with the Bengals. You know, they've lost some guys and they got to make it work with what they have. And again, it's, it's going to be very interesting to see what ends up happening after the season with T. Higgins and Jamar Chase. Because, you know, Jamar Chase wants that new contract. You know, and it's kind of upset with the Bengals. I mean, at this point, you know, these last couple weeks have been good for him. Go out there and continue to play well because the Bengals will give you that contract. I, I really have a hard time seeing them letting go of both T. Higgins and Jamar Chase because they would be making a huge mistake if they did that. My mindset all, my mindset all along has been let T. Higgins walk whether you trade him, whatever the case may be, he's going to be the odd man out. Jamar Chase is going to be the guy that they pay. But who knows? It could be the it could be the opposite. But it was interesting because Jamar Chase, you know, saw what was going on. He had two years left on his rookie deal, and he wanted a new contract. So that kind of put the Bengals in a tough spot. So... We'll see what happens with that, but, you know, at least for now, the Bengals can enjoy this win, and then you got to focus up for next week because you're going to be taking on the Ravens. We're coming off of a huge win over the Bills. Ravens may be looking like they found their groove. So, um, you know, we'll see how that game goes. That's gonna, that's one of the biggest games of the weekend. There There's a lot of big games this weekend. You know, you got that game. You got Stephon Diggs facing off against the Bills. The Sunday night game, um, you know, there's there's several games. I mean, the game in London, I think, is huge for the Jets going up against the undefeated Vikings with Sam Darnold facing off against his former team once again. He's already 1-0 against them. You know, he beat them when he was with the Panthers. Now he's facing off against them with arguably the best team in football right now. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting uh, this weekend, and obviously we will preview it all on Friday, but let me know what you guys think, though, about this game for the Bengals. What were your takeaways from it? That was a game they needed to win, and the Panthers, look, with Andy Dalton, it's it's different, man. You know, they're more competitive, and I don't think it's really going to amount to much. I mean, I, I think they're going to win a few more games than maybe we would have initially thought, but, you know, Andy Dalton should be the starter moving forward. You know, he's played good enough to earn that. And, you know, they get Jonathan Brooks back. They get Adam Thielen back. You know, the offense will be even better. But, again, still don't really expect them to win a ton of games. So, but let me know what you guys think about this game, though. Let me know in the comments. So, we are going to take our next break. When we come back, we will talk about the 49ers getting back on track, picking up a win over the Patriots. So... Make sure to stick around for that. So with that being said, we'll be right back. We're going to take another break. So stick around, and we'll be right back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. <laughs> 